everybody, this is Gabe at Security Baron, and today we want to talk about your nest. Well, protecting your nest. Well, protecting your nest with the Nest Secure Home Security System. So let's jump in. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite home security systems, Google Security Baron Best Home Security Systems. If you have a question about today's review, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. Looking at the Nest Secure security system, we'll talk about what you get in the package, how easy it is to set up, the professional monitoring options, the customer support, and finally, the Nest mobile application. To begin, I wanna make it clear that Nest has a lot of different packages that you can buy with your Nest Secure system with various cameras and other accessories. Um, but each system comes with what we have today, which is the Nest Guard, two Nest tags, and two detect sensors. So let's go through each individual component. The Nest Guard is the command center for the Nest Secure security system. What other systems might do with a base station, siren, keypad, and motion sensor, you get built right into the Nest Guard. Uh, it's got a motion sensor on the front, a siren, um, you can put in your code right on the top. It does all of these really well. On top of just being a little mobile command center, I actually really like it aesthetically. Uh, it can fit in the palm of my hand, so it's not taking up a ton of space. Uh, it's that clean, white, minimalist look uh, that still has a bunch of capacity. So that's the Nest Guard command center for your Nest Secure security system. Next, we have the Nest Detect sensors. Now, I'm a huge fan of these. One, just aesthetically speaking, uh, while they're a little bit bigger than your typical door and window sensor, um, they look really good. Uh, this little cylindrical white piece um, works in the way that you typically find with a door and window sensor. Uh, the magnets come together, letting you know when a door or window have been opened or closed, but they also have motion sensors. So you don't have to have two separate pieces. You have one thing, does both, uh, and that does make for a slightly larger design than you might find uh, with, you know, other sensors on the market, but you're getting more out of it. On top of that, you don't just have to be subjected to a beep every time something happens. Um, the light can go on here uh, when it detects motion, when you're walking in the kitchen late at night to cheat on your diet, or it can play a chime when the kids go to play in the backyard. So the fact that you have different things that can be done with this make it a really cool sensor. So that's the Nest Detect Sensor for the Nest Secure Security System. The final items you'll get with any Nest Secure Security System are the Nest Tags. Now, they're cute little white um, tags, basically shaped like a coin. Uh, you use the QR code on the back to set them up with your system. And that's what's great about these, is that they have to be set up with your system. If you're worried about losing them and any like security vulnerabilities, you can simply disable it in the app. So you don't have to worry about it. And on top of that, in the same vein, I guess I should say, you can also limit the hours to which they work. So if you wanna give one to a babysitter uh, who comes in between three and eight, that's very doable. So they can get in when they need to be in, they can get out when they need to get out. Uh, same for a dog walker. Um, all those can be done with your Nest tags. So maybe you have one, maybe your spouse has one, maybe you get another one for uh, someone else, and they're gonna work. So the Nest tags simply work by tapping it on the system and you're ready to go. A quick aside, at Security Baron, we're trying to see how much the Nest ecosystem affects people's decision to possibly buy the Nest Secure home security system. So if you have the Nest Hello Video doorbell or the Nest thermostat, whether or not that actually affects your decision to buy the security system. Give us your thoughts below. Now let's get back to the video. Generally, at Security Baron, when we review a home security system, we like to choose an indoor security camera uh, that works well, and Nest gives you a couple of options with the Nest Cam Indoor IQ and the Nest Cam Indoor. Uh, we chose to go with the more affordable option of the Nest Cam Indoor for the purposes of our review today. The design on the Nest Cam Indoor, frankly, is gorgeous. Um, it's got this gun metal, um, coloring, got a black glossy face, uh, rubber backing, and this super cool magnetic base. 
Uh, to go along with that, it has some pretty impressive mobility. Uh, you can just do a lot with it, twist it around, rotate it, all that. Um, we're big fans of the design. Uh, if we had one small uh, problem with it, it would be the white cord, which of course matches the rest of the Nest security system. And we know it's petty, but when you're looking at this beautiful design, you kind of want it all to match up. Uh, something like a, a black cord would have been nice in that situation, but whatever, that's small. To talk about how well it actually works, let's jump into the Security Baron Necessary Features Test. A Security Baron Necessary Feature for an indoor camera is video quality, and the Nest Cam Indoor does not disappoint with its 1080p crisp video and a 130 degree field of view. So it's gonna capture most things in that nice crisp 1080. Another Security Baron Necessary Feature is two-way audio and the Nest Cam Indoor does allow for you to speak to someone in the room and hear what they're saying, uh, which is really useful for possibly uh, scaring off an intruder or just helping people out uh, that need to find something in the room. When it comes to the security baron necessary feature of night vision, the Nest Cam Indoor has some pretty advanced uh, elements to it. For example, if an intruder comes in with a flashlight, it will not be tricked into thinking it's day, it'll remain in night vision, and it'll pick up that video quite well with this eight infrared LED sensors. So we are real big fans of the Nest Cam Indoor's night vision. With the security brand necessary feature of local and cloud storage, the Nest Cam Indoor starts to lose its footing. Uh, it only has three hours of free cloud storage and no local storage. So if you want anything beyond that, you're gonna have to uh, sign up for Nest Aware, uh, which gives you a five, 10, and 30 day option. And I'd love to give you some general prices for that, but they seem to change pretty frequently. So please check out our written review to get the exact prices for the Nest Aware service. One of our more exciting security brand necessary features is smart platform integration. And I am very pleased to say that with the Nest Cam Indoor, we're really knocking it out of the park. Uh, not only do you have the expected Google Assistant, uh, which allows you to also put it on your Chromecast, but you can also get it with Philips Hue light bulbs, Amazon Echo, and throw the video onto your Fire TV. Now that's the unity that we need to see in the world today. The final security variant necessary feature that we'll check out for the Nest Cam Indoor is artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence does come with the Nest Cam Indoor, but you must invest in the Nest Aware for things like person detection and the like. However, it is probably worth it because you'll get smarter, uh, more useful notifications to your phone. Now, if you'd like to check out a more comprehensive look at the Nest Cam Indoor, be sure to check out our full review. Now that we've talked about all the components for the Nest Secure Home Security System, let's jump into the setup. This process is extremely simple. You download the Nest app and it will guide you through each step of the installation. To set up the Nest Guard, you're gonna wanna plug it in and you'll get a light ring around the top. Uh, the Nest Guard will speak to you telling you to use the Nest app and the Nest app will then guide you through each step. Uh, beginning with using the app's camera um, to scan the QR code on the bottom. Once you scan the QR code, um, it'll update, uh, ask you to walk in front of the motion sensor to test it. Then you will be able to um, make your own password, um, give passwords to friends, and set up various accounts for the people in your family or the people that you would like to have access to your system. So that's setting up the Nest Guard uh, with the Nest Secure Home Security System. The next item we're gonna set up is the Nest Detect Sensor. Now, the Nest Detect Sensor is interesting in that it actually is a bit more versatile than your typical door open and window opening system. For one, you're actually gonna set them up in a vertical orientation as opposed to a horizontal orientation um, which is typical. So you normally would get a system, you put it up above the frame on the uh, Nest Detect Sensor, you're gonna put it basically uh, on the side of the frame. So that's kind of interesting, and I think it is a function of the motion sensor that comes in your Nest Detect Sensor. So it doesn't just know when the door is open or closed, it knows when someone is moving inside of that room. Now, for actually setting it up within the Nest Secure System, it's pretty straightforward. 
you'll take your QR code in the exact same way that you did it with your Nest Guard QR code and scan it with the app. It'll register it and then walk you through this entire um, process. Now, what's great is that even down to making sure that the magnets work is done right there in the app. So from the moment you uh, open up the Nest Detect sensor, you'll get a video on your screen on how to set it up. Uh, because that is something that you would not know naturally uh, if you've ever set up a home security system before. The final piece that we wanna talk about setting up with the Nest Secure home security system are the Nest Tags. Now, the Nest Tags work in the way that you set up your Nest Guard and your Nest Detect sensor. You take your QR code on the back, you scan it in the app, and then it'll walk you through um, setting it up and even a little test. So, for example, you just leave it lightly. You have one minute to exit. Now you've armed the system and boom. That's all done right in the installation process with your Nest Tag. Overall, so simple of a setup. Took me fewer than 10 minutes to do all the pieces that came with my Nest Secure system. Hold on, wait a second, let's take a break. Each month at Security Baron, we like to hook up one of our subscribers who comments with a $200 Amazon gift card. So the rules for entry are simple. Subscribe to our page, leave us a comment, and each month we'll pick someone for a $200 Amazon gift card. Let's get back to the video. So let's talk about the professional monitoring options for the Nest Secure home security system. Here at Security Baron, there are two things we expect from professional monitoring service. One is 24 seven capacity to get you the help that you need uh, in terms of contacting the proper authorities and two, uh, cellular backup so that in case a landline, a power line, uh, the worst happens, you can still get out that necessary alert. Nest Secure does provide professional monitoring services through Brinks Home Security. Now they've outsourced it to this more traditional home security company and professional monitoring service. Now, when you sign up for the Brinks Home Security package, you get that 24 seven monitoring and cellular backup. Now there are just two flavors of service when it comes to Brinks and Nest Secure, and they relate to the contract rules. You can sign a contract for three years and get $19 a month for your Nest Security system to be uh, professionally monitored by Brinks or $29 a month with the flexibility to cancel at any time. So those are your professional monitoring options with the Nest Secure home security system. Moving forward, let's talk about the different options for customer support with your Nest Secure home security system. The Nest Secure website has a lot of resources for understanding how to work with your system, uh, tons of support articles, and even a customer support uh, community message board um, that people can use to help each other going through their issues. Now, if that doesn't work, you can of course contact the customer support team directly over the phone, by email, through Twitter, or on an online chat. I'm encouraged by the number of options for customer support with the Nest Secure home security system, but you wanna know how that pans out in reality, and to do that, I looked at the Google reviews. Now, there are over 500 reviews for the Nest Secure system, and the average rating is 4.6 out of five, which is really high, and we're impressed by that. However, I do wanna note that when you search specifically for customer support on the Nest Secure, um, you get a more mixed bag. Definitely a little bit more positive than negative, but we definitely found some one and two star reviews when it comes to customer support, and that's something to keep in mind. Now taking a look at the reviews from the Better Business Bureau, we have to say that Nest Labs fares much, much worse than they do in the Google reviews. We should also make it clear that this is a Nest Labs overall um, Better Business Bureau complaint, uh, and it's not specific to the Nest Secure home security system, but we do think we should mention that it has a D minus rating because it has not uh, replied to many of the complaints, and it averages a little over one star out of five, and most of those negative reviews, of which there are 27 reviews altogether, um, mention um, poor customer support as for the reason why they are making their complaint. 
Mobile application functionality is necessary for any home security system and it's no different for the Nest, which requires you to use the app to just set it up. So in order to know how people are doing with their setup and installation and functionality of their Nest Secure system, let's see the reviews in the App Store and the Google Play Store. In the App Store, it has improved, but it's still only 2.5 stars out of five for the Nest app. Now, of course, that is an approach to the Nest app altogether and not necessarily how it works only with the Nest Secure system, but that is not very good and something to note when you're looking at the Nest security system. Now, in the Google Play Store, the Nest app fares much better with 3.8 out of five stars, with most of those reviews being four or five stars, uh, which stands in stark opposition to the App Store where most of the reviews are one or two stars. This might make sense considering Google owns Nest and of course makes Google uh, Android products. So you would hope to see that, but still it is a huge gap between the two. Now that we've seen how other people feel about the Nest app, let's see how well it works for me. Here I am checking out the Nest app as it pertains to the Nest Secure Security System. Now, what I love about this app is that you get what you care about right on the main screen. Uh, so if you know, it has family room and office. And so here we've got a couple of cameras set up, but we're gonna focus today on the Nest Cam Indoor. But before we jump into that, Nest Cam indoor view, let's look at the Nest Secure app itself. Now in the middle of my page, you'll note that it says guard and front door. Now if I click on that guard, I'm right into the security settings for the Nest Secure. Now, of course, the most important elements are the first ones that we'll talk about, which are setting and disarming your system. Now right now it's turned off. If I click on the middle one, it'll basically be a setting where you're at home, but the system is still on. So let me click on that now. Now I've set the alarm to home and guarding. So the alarm is ready. Um, if something is opened or closed, I'm gonna know. Now there's another option for when you leave and it gives you a minute to get out of the home. And that is by tapping on the far right shield that's filled in and that goes something like this. You have one minute to exit. Now I've got one minute to exit my home and now this is a higher security level of Nest Secure where anything that happens, they're gonna be willing to begin contacting uh, the Brinks Professional Monitoring Service and letting you know that something's going on. Now I don't want that to happen now. Uh, don't need the proper authorities called to Brooklyn. So let me go ahead and turn off this alarm. So you'll see that the two sensors that we have set up right now are the family room and the front door. Those both have motion detection and the front door will also let us know if the door is opened or closed. Now on the bottom of this page, you'll note there are two icons and really it is the simplicity that I like. You've got family and guest and history. Now if I tap on family and guest, I get the opportunity to add someone to the nest of the Baron. So let's say I wanted to add uh, my buddy Richard, I could type it here, I'd hit continue, and here I can decide what level of access do I want for Richard. Do I want him to be able to have full access to my home, um, which can give control to everything, or just home entry? You know, this might be something you would give if Richard is your babysitter or Richard is your dog walker, and you would just tap on, let's say, the latter one and I can send Richard the passcode or give him uh, in an email, and that's pretty straightforward, and I can make a schedule so I can decide when Richard uh, can come in and out with that passcode, and that's really useful. The other option is, let's say, Sally. I can give full access. Now, full access requires you to send an email, and I would put in Sally at Gmail or something like that, and boom, Sally would get an invitation and the ability to control everything in my Nest app. Now, if we go back out to the main page, you'll see you can go to history, and in history you can look at what has happened in the day. So you note there's been a lot of turning on and off of the system, front doors opening and closing, and that's just for today. Lots of different events. 
and something that is really useful to look at to see when people have been coming and going. And let's jump into the settings, which you'll see the gear icon in the top right hand corner. So there, once again, I look at home away, assist. Um, I can look at my professional monitoring options. That of course is provided by Brinks. And we've got the cellular backup. Now the cellular backup is, is something that you have to subscribe to. We subscribe to it. That was about $5 a month. Then you can look at your various security levels. For example, arming it with a passcode or without a passcode. Looking at how-to videos, which is really useful for getting the most out of your Nest Secure system. And looking at how it works with various other elements of your security apparatus. So Nest Cam IQ Cam, Nest Cam Indoor, all of those elements. Now, speaking of other products, let's jump into looking at the video. So you can hear me here, I'm gonna turn that down. Now, it tells me that there was a person because there's person detection, and I know, and I can look at 10 days, talk, news clip, so we've got two-way audio, and just the video history. So it's very useful to be able to look at things through the Nest Cam Indoor, um, which is one of the cameras you can use to set up with your Nest Secure. But if you remember, if you have Nest Aware for your Nest Cam Indoor, that is a separate subscription to whatever you have with Nest Secure. Now, I'm a big fan of using these products in conjunction, and that's just something for you to figure out. So that's our look at the app as it pertains to the Nest Secure home security system and the Nest Cam Indoor. Here we are checking out the Nest Cam Indoor, which is one of the cameras you can use with the Nest Secure home security system. Now, if you really want a robust security apparatus, you're gonna to wanna to have a camera, and Nest gives you various options. Now, this is uh, the cheaper or more affordable option for the Nest Secure system with the Nest Cam Indoor, and it has crisp, 1080p high definition video, 130 degree field of view, and some pretty solid zoom capabilities, which you'll note uh, with our globe tests. Now here we can go shrink in, see exactly what's going on with the South Africa there, North Africa. And we just really like uh, how compatible and how well they integrate, which is to be expected as they're both Nest products. So with your Nest Secure system, always wanna recommend having a cam as well. So that's us checking out the video quality on the Nest Cam Indoor as it pertains to the Nest Secure home security system. Here we are checking out the night vision on the Nest Cam Indoor as it pertains to the Nest Secure home security system. Now it does have eight LED infrared lights, but it's definitely not the best night vision that we've seen. For example, you'll note that I'm only about eight feet away, but it is kind of hard to see my features. Now, if we go in and zoom, it does get better, and that's something that is good to know. Uh, you can kind of really make me out here. If we do a little globe test, you can see what's happening on this globe, but that's something to keep in mind when thinking about the night vision of your uh, Nest Cam Indoor as it pertains to your Nest Secure home security system. We would, for example, point out that the Nest Cam IQ indoor camera has twice as many infrared LEDs and therefore an improved night vision. But for the more affordable option on the Nest Cam indoor, this is about the level of video quality that you'll get on night vision. Woo! Now we've spoken a lot about the Nest Secure home security system, but ultimately what we want to know is whether or not it's right for you. Now, if you would just like a beautiful, minimalist, uh, gorgeous aesthetic for your security system uh, that comes with lots of different options in terms of cameras, then maybe the Nest Secure system is right for you. However, if you really, really emphasize in your life the importance of stellar customer support or would just like a better app experience across devices, then you might wanna look somewhere else. Now, let me tell you how I feel about the Nest Secure system 
and that is that it works really well for me and my needs. Um, one, I think it's beautiful, and honestly, convenience is important when it comes to a home security system because if something is inconvenient, then you won't use it. And what you ultimately wanna have with your home security system and being safe is something that you're actually gonna use. And Nest really allows for that. So I'm a big fan of the Nest Secure system because it's convenient, because it's beautiful, and I want to use it. Therefore, it makes me safer in the long run. So that's our review of the Nest Secure home security system. If you appreciated today's video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe of Security Baron. Be secure.